That's one thing I was just, you know, trying to figure out about this place. I was gonna make a stupid sports joke and then I just, I held it in. I held it in. It's like sometimes when you, when you're about to blow, if you instead reverse the flow of that energy and keep it inside, then you can be a much more powerful person. Or you can fuck up your insides, you know? Depending on what kind of person you are. So I grew up in Florida. How many, everybody here grew up in Florida? I know we got some Brown County. Floridians love to come to New York. Minnesotans love to come to New York. Shout out to my man Satan, it's a motherfucking birthday today. So growing up, my brother had this dumbass 1978 Canary Yellow Super Beetle. Shit was ugly as hell. But he made it look fresh. He like took the bumpers off and put them little tees. I forget what they're called. We'll call them tees. Straight tees, 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 tees. My brother took the back seat about that bitch. Built himself a cup of, cup of custom speaker box with two 18 inch subwoofers in the back. We used to ride around the neighborhood, taking the gold foil out of Rolo packs to make fake ass grills. <laughs> I ain't gonna front, that shit hurt like a mug. Cause I had metal fillings, so it was like touching two positive points to each other. Wasn't no fun, but I was just trying to be cool with my older brother, right? Letting him face out. We had this MCADE shit I used to ride out to. So every day my brother would take me to school, he made me ride in the back seat. Wasn't nobody in the front seat. I just didn't earn that spot yet, right? Just plugging my ears in between the fucking speakers. Shit making my heart skip a beat, but I learned to love that shit. That bass. That bass. That bass. 